It is 642. Back in September, news of Gabby Petito's disappearance dominated headlines for weeks. Her case reopening some wounds for loved ones of other missing people whose stories didn't garner the same attention and also exposing racial disparities with missing persons cases. Well, for those who have lived that reality for years, the question now is how to make sure their loved one's stories stay in the public eye. A local teacher decided to be the change that she wanted to see after tragedy struck too close to her classroom. So find missing people. In October, I had a former student who was missing for two whole days. And we're in the same city, and I, I had no idea. I did not know he was missing until his body was found. That was the heartbreaking call to action for this Indianapolis teacher. I wondered what could I have done, if anything, to assist had I known, had I known is the key term. And that became the framework behind the website she created and launched less than a month later, Find My Beloved. It gives loved ones of the missing resources and a way to spread the word in the first 48 hours, which is crucial to the investigation. Connie walks me through how families can post info and real-time updates, and most importantly, how this is accessible for people in their community who can submit tips and support. A loved one who is in that position feels like their, their hands are tied, and it is the, the most helpless feeling that a person could have. That's a feeling Jerry McClurkin knows all too well. She was a kid. She was a kid. Just turned 18, September 26th, went missing October 11th. Her granddaughter, Karina McClurkin of Kokomo, missing five years now, and new leads in her case are few and far between. We had a $75,000 reward. Nobody came. Well, this is one of the last places that police say Karina was last seen walking down the 1000 block of South Washington Street here in Kokomo. Her grandmother tells me it's not just the lack of widespread or national media attention that's disheartening. It's the number of people right here in this community who don't know Karina's name. And what we see is that people want to now change the narrative and be the solution. Derricka Wilson says in the last several months, there seem to be more eyes than ever on her site, Black and Missing Inc. Karina is listed on the national database, one of just over a dozen other Hoosiers posted there. Her family is far from alone in their search for answers, but too often it feels that way. All the flyers have been taken down. They were getting taken down as soon as we was putting them up. I was speaking to a mother. We've been uh, working with her. Her daughter's been missing for five years. And she said, you know, people in the next county over, in the next town, they don't even know that my daughter's missing. This is part of the community. And community is the heart of this website that this teacher hopes to one day turn into an app. I would like to show and let them know that, yeah, we're here with you. This is here to support you and make sure your loved one gets attention that they need until your loved one is brought home or some type of peace is made. Well, Karina McClurkin's case is still under investigation, so if you have any helpful information, you can submit a tip to Kokomo Police. We do have more info on that website, findmybeloved.org, as well as the work that the Black and Missing Foundation is doing in this story on WTHR.com. And we have all this technology. It's time to use that technology to, to, for good things like Absolutely. this. Absolutely. And I know? mean, it's nice to see that people do want to know what they can do. It's mm -hmm. just sometimes, you, as she said, people just feel like their hands are tied in situations like this. Yeah. yeah. So, Wishing her you. good luck with that Absolutely. app development, yeah. too. That for would sure. be great.